want to talk about something sensitive today. If you can write in your book, you just write monitoring spirit. Monitoring spirit. Roho ya kuchunguza. Monitoring spirit is a spirit that follows you. Following your steps. Checking your life. Amen. Amen. Following you everywhere. Inakufuata kila mahali. To know what you are doing. Kujua kile unafanya. To know what you are touching. Kujua kile unaguza. To know what you are transacting. Kujua ile biashara unafanya. To know how, how far you going. Kujua ile umbali unaenda. And monitoring spirit. Na roho ya kuchunguza. Is a dangerous spirit. Ni roho hatari. It can start to work. Inaanza kufanya kazi. When you are born. Wakati unazaliwa. The day you are born. Siku ile ulizaliwa. If that spirit was there. It has been there to follow you. To make sure that whatever it will happen in your life, it will never be the right thing. That spirit makes sure that you don't get what you are looking for. But you get counterfeit. If it is an husband, it's a wrong husband. If it's a wife, it's a wife as is a wrong wife. If it's a career, Kama ni kazi. it's a wrong career. Ni kazi and most of the people na watu wengi who are followed by this monitoring spirit is strong people in the society. Ni watu wenye nguvu katika jamii. The people who can help others. Watu wanaweza wakasaidia wengine. People who can deliver other people. Watu wanaweza wakakomboa watu wengine. Those are the people Hawa ndiyo watu. who the devil will assign that monitoring demon to, to take care of them. So that demon will follow you. Everywhere you go. Because they use something. Like a microchip. Something like a microchip. Chembe chembe. Some spiritual microchip tembe tembe or they can use anything for a point of conduct. Listen, Skiza. for wizards to destroy you easily, they must take something from you. The piece of something. And they will own you and they will manipulate you. They will control your life. He doesn't care how far they live. I want to begin our reading by the book, from the book of Acts, chapter number 16, verse 16. Now it happened, as we went to prayer, that a certain slave girl possessed with spirit of divination met us, who brought our masters much profit by fortune-telling. Ikawa tulipokuwa tukienda mahali pale pa kusali. Kijakazi moja aliekuwa na pepo ya kuwa ya uaguzi akatukuta ali akatukuta aliyewapatia bwana zake faida nyingi kwa kuagua. I want to tell you something today. It is so difficult. Are we together? It is so difficult to differentiate between the spirit of divination and the spirit of prophecy. I want you to know that today. Amen. Amina. This girl Okay. Let us follow together. 16. It happened as we went to prayer. Who is talking? Paul says, Paul now it happened. This is Paul. Church, listen to me, please. Are we together? Are we together? If you are together with me, can you do like this? Okay, listen. This is Paul and Silas. Paul and, Sila. and they said, Na wakasema, it happened as we normally went to prayer. Always, Kila wakati, every day, Kila siku, they were going to pray. Naenda kuomba. But though they were praying every day, naomba kila but wakati, this girl uyu mjakazi, accessed them, akawafikia, found them, akawapata, despite the prayer. Despite going to prayer every day, listen, if you pray a lot, you will not 
destroy them. They will still follow you. This is a demon. A demon of divination. Somebody say amen. This damsel or this girl is that spirit of divination. People. Though you are praying, but she's following you. Okay, let, let, let's go slowly. Which brought a master's great or much gain by soothsaying. Listen to me. Soothsaying. Or those prophecies. That is ungodly. You can prophesy. And I want to tell you. Out of the ministries. Or gifts. Or grace Ama neema, that can pull people away watu, is the grace of ability to prophesy and to predict things. Ni ile neema ya kuweza kutabiri, na kujua mambo meleni. Do you know a church of a prophet? Je, unajua kanisa la nabi? He can have so many people. Anaweza kuwa na watu wengi. Thousands of people. Ma elfu ya watu. And he can make money from it. Na anaweza katengeneza pesa kutoka hapo. You can make a lot of money. Unaweza ukapata pesa nyingi. If you are a prophet. Ukiwa nabi. Because presidents and people will come to look for you. Kwa sababu maraisi na watu wengi watakuja kukutafuta. And many people. Na watu wengi. Who used to be good prophets. Amba walikuwa manabi uwe wa wazuri. They will be swayed away. Watabebwa. And do wrong things. Na kufanya mambo ya siyo fa. Because people will blind you with money. Kwa sababu watu watakupofusha kwa pesa. If you have a ministry like that. Ni uduma kama hiyo. You have to be very wise. Lazima uwe na hekima. To hide in prayers. Kujificha nani ya maombi. To hide in humility. Kujificha kwa unyenyekevu. To hide from men. Kujificha kutoka kwa watu because most of the prophets kwa sababu manabii wengi they are praised and they are lifted by men wanasifiwa na kuinuliwa na watu so they go to a point wengine wanafika mahali where a church will start worshiping them ambapo kanisa itaanza kuabudu and they forget na wanasahau to glorify Jesus Christ kumtukuza Yesu Kristo so we want to be very careful tunataka tuwe makini sana we want to be in our position tunataka tuwe katika nafasi yetu sometimes we can see things ingawaje wakati mwingine tunaweza ona vitu lakini lazima tujinyenyekeshe and hide under prayer and grace of God but I can tell people things that happen. They can give me money, give me money, give me money. Until I will do some funny things in the church. For longest I will make money. So, prophecy, prophecy ministry is very controversial. It is so dangerous. You will see when Jesus comes. You will see many people who are prophets missing heaven. Because they will pursue money and pursue money and make themselves fame and become celebrities and forget about the sufferings of Christ. They will forget about the suffering of Christ. They will live high lives. They will not be accessible. I pray God will help me to just be content with people like you and serve him faithfully. Because I was not giving my life to Christ because of becoming a bishop or a prophet. I wanted to go to heaven. It is still in my heart of friends. It is still in my heart afresh. That Jesus Christ. I want one day to inherit heaven. And I will go to heaven. May God help me. So that I cannot be destroyed by money. This girl. Listen. She was a slave. Somebody say a slave. Are we in the child together brethren? 
Amen. Amina. A slave girl. Mstana ambaye alikuwa mtumwa. Meaning that. Kumaanisha this girl was a slave in a certain family. Alikuwa kijakazi katika familia moja. And the and the masters. Na mabwana zake. Whom they were masters to this girl. Ambao walikuwa mabwana wa huyu msichana. They used that Grace. That satanic grace. That gift. That divination. To bring money. Because she kept telling people. What will come to happen. For truth teller. Do you know? For truth telling. Is somebody telling you. You know fortunes. Fortunes is success. Fortunes is something like money. Fortune is something like cars, something. but it is not from God. So that is now fortune telling. Fortune telling is telling somebody, I see your car coming. Within 21 days, you will get that car. And it will happen. That is fortune telling. But the prophet can say two things. He can say God will kill you within one week. Amen. Amina. And God and, and the same prophet na huyo huyo nabi, can come and say anaweza rudi kusema, God will heal you. Mungu atakuponya. And God will lift you. Na Mungu atakuiwa. God will protect you. Mungu atakulinda. The same prophet of God. Nabi moja huyo but wa Mungu. But fortune tellers. Lakini wale wakubashiri wa waaguzi. Fortune tellers. Waaguzi. They don't tell you Awakwambi, about negative things. Kuhusu mambo hasi. They only tell you wanakuambia tu about success to come. Kuhusu fanisi ambao utakuta. That's why when they call soothsayers or fortune tellers. Ndio ni wana wanaitwa watu ambao wanaagua ngure ngorige watu waaguzi anagoma otiki ama manabii amen amina praise the lord bwana asifiwe are you still there with me je bado uko pamoja so, nami this girl huyo msichana by doing what she was doing kwa kufanya kila alikuwa anafanya she was bringing a lot of profit alikuwa analeta faida nyingi akiambiwa kitu watu inafanyika analeta pesa ngoma hiyo ya wakisege hivi ravini mataji wale wale mshika ya nara mabwana zake wanafaidika wanakula anasema vitu inafanyika anasema vitu inafanyika so walikuwa wametajirika sana yako mwaka na msamisi so this damsel Uyo kijakazi kept following Paul. Akaendelea kumfuata Paulo. Every week. Kila wiki. Every day. Kila siku. Following them. Akiwafuata. Saying this and telling people. Na akiambia watu. Can you imagine? Ukafikirie? Advinitions. Uaguzi wake. Advinitions. Uaguzi wake. Was so powerful. Ilikuwa na nguvu. That you could able to understand. Ambaye angeweza kufahamu. Paul. Ya kwamba Paulo. And Silas. Were genuine men of God. So the damsel said, and told the people, these two men, Paul and Silas, they are great men of God. Follow them. This girl followed Paul and Silas and cried out, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God who proclaim to us the way of salvation. Watu hawa ni watumishi wa Mungu aliye juu wenye kuhubiri njia ya wokovu. Which spirit is talking? Hiyo ni roho gani inaongea? Ya uaguzi. Is it bad spirit or good spirit? Je, ni roho nzuri ama mbaya? I'm asking the church. Ninauliza kanisa. Which spirit? Ni roho gani? False spirit. Ni roho ya uongo. False spirit talking good about good people of God. Ikinena mema kuhusu watu wazuri wa Mungu. Aha, I don't know if I'm talking to somebody. Sijui kama ninamwongelesha mtu. Can you shake your neighbor tell her you with me? Ukaweza kutingiza jirani yako. Are you the man of God? Je, uko na mtumishi wa Mungu? Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Hebu sikia sasa. Kasa nyun. Huh? This spirit. Hii roho. Speak goods about good people. Inanena mema kuhusu watu wazuri. Are you understanding now? Je, unaelewa sasa? That that spirit. Ya kwamba hiyo roho you cannot know. Hawezi kujua. They can praise you. Wanaweza kukusifu. And you think. Na unafikiria. That that person who is speaking good about me is a good person. Ya kwamba kwenye anaongea mema kuhusu ni mtu mzuri. Listen. Sikiza. Those people. Hao watu. Who are projecting evil. Ambao wanaelekeza maovu. Against you. Kinyume chako. They are not bad people. Sio watu wabaya. They are not far people. Sio watu wabaya. They are not strange people. Sio watu wageni. They are not funny people. Sio watu ambao wako. They are common people. Ni watu wa kawaida. People whom you think. Watu ambao unafikiria. That they have no problem. Ya kwamba hawana shida. But their spirit. Lakini roho yao. 
is different from your spirit. Say any spirit following me right now. Roho yoyote inayonifuatafuata sasa hivi. As I sit here. Ninapoketi hapa. I arrest you in Jesus name. Ninakufunga kwa jina la Yesu. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kwa jina la Yesu Christ. Where are you following me from? Kwa nini unanifuata kutoka? Where are you following me? Kwa nini unanifuata? You are under arrest. Umefungwa. Say in the name of Jesus Christ. Kwa jina la Yesu Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power is here. Something will happen today. Something will happen today in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Is it a place? How long will you follow me? So the Bible go to another verse, my son. Uh, go to, to, uh, and this she did for many, many, many days. She did for many days. False spirit. Don't celebrate when you find people in the church as a preacher coming to appreciate you by telling you are a real prophet. I saw this today. I don't like those things. Don't praise me. Don't talk to me. I will rebuke you. If you come closer to me. And praise me and dance to me. If I discern that that spirit which is using you is not from God. I will rebuke it. And I've been rebuking even in prayers. Telling God approved evil, evil to us in this church. Those spies who are sent. Are you aware that anything that happened in this church is known everywhere in this in this in this world? Who is taking the news? Those who are There was a lady. Not good testimony, so. There was, a, there was a lady who came here. And scroll. She was blessed. When we prayed for her, she scrolled everywhere. And, uh, and before she reached home, before she reached home, she was Yo kanisa nilimesema usiwahi kwenda tena unaenda. Challenge mote yo kanisa na niwendi gora. Ukifika hapa nitakuwa. Yeye tule wabori. Mama akamwambia nisamee kabisa wacha tu nikuje. Kule ite pesa nyo yuanga tena nyo. Sasa tarudi kwa hiyo kanisa tena. Agomba rawe si kanisa na ngumi. Ajawahi kurudi kweli. Agoto mgai kwa we. Sababu kuna mtu hapa. Amomi identity tarehe. Aliona. Nekigera. Akakimbizia huyo mzee. Kula bati ne boya. Kwa hiyo ana anasungushwa na hiyo na hiyo na hiyo majini nguvu ya majini anakifikishwa kwa na ile mama ana scroll on the ground who is doing that is it people from outside can the people outside there see what is happening here in the church we don't have every all these people who are seated here even though they are few today. We still have problems. And monitoring spirit. Your days are coming to hand. It is coming, coming to an end today. You can never monitor anyone, anybody. Any spy. Who is sent here to spy your movements? By the power of the Holy Ghost, it shall be destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Surely, things that happen here, it will be for the house of God. Amen. Amina. Amen. Amina. When things happen, Mambo ya when somebody manifests, it will remain here kubaki hapa. and give God glory Na upatia mungu tukufu. and don't talk negative about it. Na hasi hiyo. Amen. 
Amen. But you see, when we give somebody prophecy like this, somebody will go ahead of her. Tell, Do you know your sister? She was given this prophecy. Before. It is talking with the Holy Spirit. Now, I don't know if those people are safe. So this guy kept following Paul and Silas. You know what? For so many so many days. But Paul, Paulo, greatly annoyed, akasikitika. turned and said to the spirit, yule I command you Na in the name of Jesus Christ, la Yesu come out of her. Huyu. And he came out that very hour. Akatoka sa ile ile. It will come out this very hour. Itatoka sa Say monitoring spirits. Roya. You are coming out right away. Hey. You are coming out. In the name of Jesus. Monetary spirit. Following me everywhere. Come out. Come out. Come out. Can you come out? Amen. We sit at first. Keti kidogo we sit kwanza. Keti kwanza. We sit at. Keti. Mashaka bara 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 you need to be anointed. You need to be anointed. You need to be anointed. If there is somebody whom the devil has placed in your business to use our him to monitor your house, listen, you can employ a girl to be a house girl and sooner or later took over your marriage. I want you today to be annoyed. Now let me tell you the easiest way for the devil to destroy your life is to come to your life and look for you. Can, can I pick a small paper from here? This is not, not the whole one. A small one, Kadogo. This is Maureen. Uyu ni Maureen. Can you write your name here? Andika Doreen lako. or Maureen? Doreen. Doreen. So, this is Doreen. Uyu ni Doreen. This paper Iki karatasi will be enough Inatosha for the monitoring demons kwa shi, wa pepo ya uchunguzi and wizards. Na wachawi. This thing Iki kitu to the wizards kwa wachawi. smaller like this Kidogo tu vile it can be enough Inaiza tosha to be used kutumika to control and monitor a life. Kudhibitisha na kuchunguza maisha yake. Those wizards will keep somewhere. Hao wachawi watahifadhi mahali. And they will be seeing you because they are very powerful Na watakuwa wanakuona kwa sababu wana nguvu kirohoni. They'll be seeing where you are going. Wanaona mahali unaelekea. Maureen is going today for interview. Maureen anaenda leo kwa interview. Doreen I mean. Doreen uh, she wants to become somebody. Anataka kuwa mtu fulani. But uh, Lakini, no, it will not happen. Aitatendeka. Uh, we want to turn the boss to be ugly and rough Tuna against her. Taka tufanya yule mkubwa awe mkatili kinyume chake. Then they do something small. Wanafanya kitu kidogo. Then the boss will say, no, 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 no. Mkubwa no. atasema hapana, hapana. Go home. I will, I'll, I'll, call, I'll call you tomorrow. Nita kupigia kesho. Nita kuhita kesho. Enda. Then, she came home disappointed. And she will be saying, what surely happened? This man called me yesterday and he was happy. He promised to help me. Why is he not helping me? Okay, I leave it to God. Then the following day, somebody promised you, I want to give you capital Doreen of 100,000 to start something. Then the following day, when you go to that person, that monitoring demon has already seen you and she know all your information. She will go to that person and tell the person, don't give that girl the money. We block it. We block it. 
when you arrive there, the person will tell you sorry. There is an issue which has risen from nowhere. So, give me time. Let me solve it. After I fix all these things, I will call you. Then you say, God, no, let, oh, I don't know what happened. Let, let, I leave it to God. So, all years, you leave it to God. You leave it to God. You leave it to God. We are not going to leave it to God today. We are going to kill it. I'm not going to leave it to God. I will kill it personally. I will destroy that spirit. My poor Who took what belongs to you? Who took something from your body? Who took your air? Who took your piece of a cloth? Who took your photo? Who took the shoes of your children? Ask yourself. Where is wizards? Where is wizards? Where is wizards? Look for some samples and some pieces of some items coming to man like this and pick piece of cloth. See things like this. It is not coming. What is it? Is it plastic or air? <laughs> yes. This one. This do you know this? Will be enough for a wizard to use to cause problems in your life. Those monitoring demons will see you going buying a car, driving back home, smiling. Then they will say, Yes, watch a kwa ko la kini uta wai kula kitu nae. Ingo budi la kini mea mengi. Auta kula. Aut mea mengi. Igari. Gari ne? Mea drivers. Kupande reva e. Na ma namba. Ang ma namba gitu. Na police. A police. Sasa kuli. Eni mane? Kila suku. Betu taka tugu. Kuko na gari beautiful. Iti nye gari iti nye gari arangot. Watu wana kupigia salute. Pirumbi salute. Kwa sabu kuko na gari. Amuni iti nye gari. Lakini gari siyo yako. Lakini mone ngu gari. Ina kontroliwa. From from different quarters. They control the car. They turn the money to wrong hands. May God punish that spirit today in the name of Jesus. And within a very short time, you find the car involving itself with accident. Then you go to loss. And you say, God knows. No, we have to know. Paul knew. Mo, Paulo akajua. He knew. Alijua. And he became annoyed. That though this girl is speaking good about us, but this is not the spirit of God. This is divination. And he said in the name of Jesus, I command you, come out of her. And the spirit left the girl. That spirit following everywhere. This day must live in the name of Jesus Christ. You must live in the name of you must leave. Amen. Listen, listen, be seated. Listen. There are some things which will have not happened in your life. But since you introduce somebody who is in contact with the other side, you are now exposed. Listen. Paul was not looking for appraisal from anyone. He knew he was going to pray and come back. So he did not want anybody to call them uh, to, to, to interpret their lifestyle or anyone. Yes. You don't need anybody to praise you. So you can say that you are going to pray for your God. Manat thank you. If you say thank you, you become stupid and foolish. Are you smart for men? 
je wewe ni nadhifu kwa wanadamu unakuwa mzuri kwa watu ama unakuwa decent kwa ajili ya watu si ni kwa ajili ya Mungu ni kwa ajili ya Mungu you tell them yes i am what i am by the grace of god ile ni unamwambia niko vile nilivyo kwa sababu ya neema ya Mungu and then ndani yako useme i am annoyed with this spirit i rebuke you na unakemea hiyo roho I want you to know they operate. Nataka ujue vile wanafanya kazi. These are the four things they are using. Go, go to the book of Proverbs. Are you tired? Kitabu cha Are you tired church? Go to the book of Proverbs chapter number 6. 6:12 and 13. 6:12 and 13. A worthless person, a wicked man walks with a perverse mouth. Mtu asiyefaa kitu, mtu wa uovu huenda njiani mwenyewe kinywani cha upotofu listen that is bad people hawa ndio watu wabaya who use their mouth ambao wanatumia vinywa vyao to destroy others kuangamiza wengine it says what inasema nini a worthless what mtu asiyefaa kitu can somebody speak with me please mtu anene pamoja nami chitane mwatesegi mtu asiyefaa kitu Amego besi era chobo. Nataka Mungu akutenganishe. Achor wende mbatese kieso bengo. Na rafiki asiyefaa kitu maishani Ma, mwako. Matino kiro burtwa nge nyishe tamana. Hata kama mumekaa naye miaka 10. Any friend. Rafiki yeyote. Who is worthless to you? Asiyefaa kitu kwako. Amen. Amina. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. There are some people. Kuna watu. Who are worthless to you? Ambao hawafai kitu kwako. They are not adding anything to you. They are not doing anything to you. They say, they say wanasema, a worthless person. Mtu asiyefaa kitu. A wicked man. Mtu muo, mtu wa uovu. Works with perverse mouth. Anahuenda ziani mwenyewe kinywani cha upotofu. Can you turn to to Can you turn to King James? This this paper my daughter. In fact, you are in the line of those who will be delivered today. Because somebody took something from you. Is that King James, my son? With a fraud, yes, I wanted that word, fraud mouth. Okay, go to verse number 13. It says what? He winks with eyes. I want to show you the signs of monitoring spirits. They do what? They winks. He winks at with his eyes ukonyeza kwa macho they do what say winking wanakonyeza say winking they wink with their eyes wanakonyeza kwa macho amen praise the lord bwana asifiwe anaweza kukupeleka nani naweza tumia kuja sijui acha huyu akuje amen anaambia mtu ah saa ile ah anaambia maadui mkifika Tuona ile mtu nikaonyesha nyinyi na macho. So hiyo ndio ishara ya ya watu wabaya. Nasema ukiona tu ile nitafanya hivi. So muta mtajua ni yeye. So anakuja anasimama na wewe. So watu wanapita hapo wakora na anafanya tu. So then na anaenda. Kitogo pap unakamatwa. Ananyongwa huyu ndio wako na pesa. Unatolea pesa. Bisita. That is So that is winking eyes. Hiyo ndio macho ya kukonyeza. The, they use eyes. Wanatumia macho. Monetary spirit can use eyes. Roho ya kuchunguza inaweza ikatumia macho. To betray you. Kuweza kukusaliti. Mjaye kwa wengine kanisani wakati kuna kitu inaobiriwa wanaanza kuelewa. Yaani kumbe wanaongea na macho na watu wanaendelea na ibada. Wanaongea juu yako. Watu wanakusengenya na macho. Chao mimi mpiga gonye imi uta. Na ukiwa pale Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. Anafanya mwingine anakuangalia viatu hivi na ule mwingine anakuangalia viatu. Na wanaanza kucheka tayari viatu yako ile imeraruka imechulikana kwa mataifa na wewe na wajaongea but the eyes have been winking. Lakini macho yamekonyezwa. Winking eyes. Ukonyeza kwa macho. Say winking eyes. Macho ya kukonyeza. Anywhere. Popote. Against to me. Kinyume changu. I blind you in the name of Jesus. Ninakupofusha kwa jina la Yesu. Can you place the scripture? Ukaweke kwenye andiko. Number 2. Ya pili. Uh, no 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 no. Verse 13 which, which is the I I told you about the other version. The other version, King James please. I have it this one. King James. Yes. He winked with his eyes 
He speaketh with his feet. Kunena kwa migu. Can the feet speak? Te migu inaweza ikaongea. Yeah. So what they do? Wanafanya na mugu. Utaona tu silent. Suta kukanyaga. Nita kukanyaga. Alafu nita kuonyesha na mugu. So utajua ni ya. So na. Unaona unafutia watu wanachesa. Wanaimba kanisani wanakanyaga na kidogo na wanaansa kufanya hivyo. Unafutia ni style ya wibo. Yeah. It is not a style. They are communicating. They are talking about you. Any leg. Say any feet. <laughs> Speaking about me. I command you to be crippled. <laughs> Amen. Okay. He teaches with his fingers. Wanafundisha kwa nini? Kwa fitoni. So muna poka that spirit of monitoring. Ana mwambia mwingine nitakuonyesha. Unamwona? So hiyo mfupi ya. Ni huyo. Praise the Lord. Mwenye anandikata hapa. So they use fingers. Wanatumia vidole. Hata wanafanya hivi sijui. 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 These things talks. They are working war. They are waging war against you. They are fighting you. Praise the Lord. They use their fingers to say things. To do things. Those are the signs of monitoring demons. They are three signs. Eyes, mouth, legs, fingers. Four of them. Four of them indeed. They are used Praise the Lord. Do you get no react yet? So you get to Nairobi. longest prison is in Wenda. Duka. Within one month. Kwa mwezi moja. Tuka inanza kusha. Kwa na mgube to get. Una shanga. You know, we children of God are so docile. Sisi wana wa mungu tumetulia sana. What the Bible says. Kini Bibila inasema. Be humble as doves. Mwenye nyeke kama njiwa. And be wise as apex. Lakini muwe na heki makama joka. Kama nyoka. Be humble as what? Mwenye nyeke. Doves. Kama njiwa. But be wise as. Do you think Sapen Akikupata Anakuacha? If Sapen finds you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. No, no, let me tell you. Do you know Agar in Bible? You know an Egyptian lady. Who was, who was made to praise the Lord. She was employed by Sarah. But the day Abraham did a, a small error. The book was a small error. So Abraham did a small error. Sarah told her the husband, sleep with this woman, that let us use her to have children. Then it happened. The lady became pregnant. The moment she became pregnant, she started walking. Praise the Lord. In the presence of Sarah, Sara, instead of becoming a boss, she became a slave herself. I'm going to Sijui nasikia kuenda nasikia kula machungwa ingine ya tarime sijui ya wapi Sara anaangaika Kuangaika Sara Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe Praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe Then always kila wakati anakuja 
Anashika mzee Abraham. Kwenye wanamu wana miboyot. Anambia sikucha. Anamuambia mpenzi. Sara anasema. Kia mara anebeduta genge. I told it was one day. Sara anasema nilikuwa nafikiria ni asikumoja. I told it was one day. Nilifikiria ni asikumoja. This Satan has taken over my house. May God destroy anyone today who has taken over what belongs to you. Say Satan. Who has taken over what belongs to me. In the name of Jesus. Come on. Be seated. We are, we are not yet. We are going to deal with them. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to deal with it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. So Abraham, Abraham was captured after this lady delivered the baby. She was sending Sarah like, like, like a maid. Alikuwa na mtuma Sarah kama mjakazi. Kwenda unlete napkin. And it was good. They thought it was good. Anything that came to ruin your life, when seeing it at first, you will think it is good. But it will come to be bad. And I pray today, anything come in image, or something good to your life. And let that turn to be something different. May God remove them in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen. This lady tortured Sarah. Tortured Sarah. Until Sarah cried. And Sarah told the husband. Are you now? mad with this lady to a point you have forgotten about me. You despise me, Abraham, because of this wicked Gorgon. Then Abraham told her, it, it was you Abraham who gave it to me. But it was one day. But I see you, you are carried away. Tell your neighbor it is not one day. It will not be one day. It is not just a day. It will not be one day. Is the why kufanyika? Is the why? Is the why kufanyika? Matagai ko chegongu. Matagai ko nyo. Asikuche. Asikuche. Ati ni meida ameteseka sana. Unaona ni surambaya kingia. Unaona ana nini. Wacha anse kukula chapati yako. Akule mahi ya kuku yako. Ajipake mafuta yako. Kidogo musea anakuangali hivi. Anakuona wewe. Umechoka. Sufria imekupaka hapa. Ama huko bisi na kaduka. Kiosk. Unasukuma kiosk. Musichana hako nyumbani. Anachomia munu hako na amefaa. Mini skat kidogo. Anaenda kusafu mumu wako. Anaweka chapati kwa mesa na mayai. Na anapinduka anangalisha mzee wako hivyo. Hey! May God punish them all. Mungu wathibu. Praise the Lord. Wana asifiwe. Soon. Ivi karibuni. Unaona amenda. Amenundiwa shamba. Kukwa limbare. Amejengewa. Koge tekibwa. Amesa mutoto. Koko sila akwe. Anaambiwa. Kile njine. Unaambiwa kwa nyumba. Kile njine ngote. Wewe. Inye. Ni equal na yeye. Owa eti letuwa. Nini wote ni mali yangu. Okwe tukulo mali. Nini kuleta na yeye ni memulete. Utafanya nini. Kia mutu wakine uye ene. Na siyo. Nani alitafuta? Kingwa na iti enge. Nani alifanya hivyo? Hata kwa bibi Abraham. Nani alitafuta? Ni Sara. Ni Sara. Lakini bada ilikuwa tabu. Sara haka muambia siku moja. Sitaki tena mutoto. Motino kogo ya ringete. Hata kama kijana mekua mkubwa. Even if the boy is now is grown up. Hata kama mekua mkubwa. I don't want Islam in the house. Sitaki muislamu ndani ya nyumba. I don't want Ismail in this house. Sitaki Ismail ndani ya nyumba. And God told Sarai. Na mungu haka muambia Sarai. He told Abraham. Haka muambia Abraham. Tell your wife to do what she want. Ambia mke wako wafanya kila nataka. Abraham came and told the wife. Abraham wakaja haka muambia mke wako. My wife Sarai. Mke wangu Sarah. Do whatever you want to do with me. It is yours. Kile unataka kufanya na mjakazi ni wewe, ni wako. Sarah, akaenda, akatoa panga. 
Before I close my eyes, I don't want to see you again here. Pack everything that belongs to you and run faster. Because I will kill you today. Agar took the son and Sarah decided better to live without a child than to have a child from outside who will bring no peace in this house. So better to remain with one bread than two breads that will bring problem in the house. So she sent her away. She sent her to the bush. Go! 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 She wanted to take the water. She was like, no, don't take anything that belongs to me. Take what belongs to you. You are a son. You are belongings. Get out and go. Let today anybody in your house who is creating problems, even if it is your sister, even if it is your brother, even if it is the sister of your mother, even if it is your auntie, let them pack their things in. Let, let them go. Let them go. Don't spare them. Tell them, I'm not sparing you. I'm not sparing you. My dad will call you Bujodari. Call me away, away. Don't spare them. Please be seated. And I'm not speaking here about maids here. Some are born again. They need to dress decently. And it is you, mama, who should choose clothes for your mate. Praise the Lord. Amen. This monitoring spirit is very dangerous. They use eyes, fingers, legs, mouth, and they can destroy you. Listen to me. You can be with a friend. Your own sister. Your own auntie. Can destroy your life. And you think they are not bad people. But there is something they are using. It is called human tracker. They track you everywhere. University. <laughs> I know. She is foolish. She is confused. I know her from when she was a child. Then tomorrow, your child says, Mama, let us postpone to next week. I feel, I feel, I feel comet is moving in my stomach. A comet. A comet. Okay. Something moving in my stomach. And I feel I cannot see properly. Na, na then, praise the Lord. Wana That's why. Liposa. Get it from me today. Tata kutoka kwa leo. Don't announce. Usitangaze. Anywhere. Popote. In any gathering. Katika that lolote. you are child is sick. Ya kwamba mtoto wako ni mgonjwa. If you are talking to bishop, tell bishop only. Bishop, pray for Lorin. She's sick. When I was coming, my two daughters, the other one was Daureari, and the other one was having just pain. So I decided to come and share with you people. The one who was working against us, Then na pofika nyumbani na umetoka kanisa. Mtoto anakuambia mama imekuwa mbaya ilikuwa inapitia huko peke yake sasa imeanza kupitia tena kwa mdomo. Hey. 
and you are praying. Na unaomba. Listen, let me teach you wisdom today. When your child is going to university, university is not heaven. Don't announce to people. Some will say, let her go. Let her go, but we shall see what they will come and do. Let her go, like your daughter. Somebody went somewhere for your daughter. And say she will go everywhere in the world, but she will never bring anything to this woman. So the girl will go. So, so your girl will pass in university. She will go, go, she will go, but she will never settle in life. Because somebody somewhere said, let her go. You study. You do a lot. But somebody is against it. Monitoring it and controlling it. So you go to university. You will come with pass. But you will get a job. But you will be drunk at. I will program you to drink. And you will never buy any property. And you will never get a man to settle with you. Then you find your girl is so beautiful. <laughs> like tomato from greenhouse. <laughs> but you will never get married. <laughs> then you kept chasing yourself. <laughs> What's happening with my child? <laughs> Am I talking senses to everyone <laughs> over <laughs> here? Am I opening your eyes? <laughs> Say, man of God, shine my eyes. <laughs> man of God, shine my eyes. <laughs> Now I'm doing it now. I am going to do it today in the name of Jesus. You are going to see them today. Say anybody who went somewhere and took my photos to control my life in the name of Jesus. I call fire against your kingdom, against your operation. In the name of Jesus. Be seated. Time is not with us. Eh? Some of the boys here want to go and watch football, World Cup. So I will be very brief now. But I feel I need to exhaust it. I need to go in deep. I want to go deeper, deeper. Because, you know, when you find something tight, like a rope, you don't just pull like this. You just look the genesis. Where the knot is. Then you start from there. You, you are so I am trying to untie what they tied to you when, since you were a child. They have been programming your life. They have been programming you with remote. Following you everywhere. So we want to untie. In the name of Jesus. Say those wicked women. Those who came at my bath. And tie something in my life. I go to the day of my bath. In the name of Jesus. I am tie myself from there. Hey! I am tie myself from that. I am tie my life where I was born. Hey, uh, listen. Listen that. A moment. A moment. Kwa kuzaliwa. Ensiget. Kuma pua ni mureni. Wana ube hawazi. Pua ni kwanye. Wamama ndi wana kuta. Kwa kubwa mutu. Wakita watano. Kubwa ni sumugu. Watatu ni wachawi. Kwa kubwa ya and they must say something. Hey. Then your mom anapigwa na 
Lakini watu wana unastuka kwa sababu ulikuwa unaona mtoto wako yuko sasa Mungu alikuwa amefundisha. vitu nyingi. Lakini huyu mchawi. Lakini vitu ingerekebishwa. Mungu anarekebisha lakini sasa anakuja kuikorekti ende kombo kabisa. Na ikishaingia kwa your mind. So it is program in your mind. That your child high as problem. Then you take it in your mind. That this scripture fulfilled. This scripture can to be fulfilled. Proverbs 23:7. As he think it. So he is. So you start thinking that your child has a problem. That the problem become real. As I pray today, anyone who came at the time of celebration of your birth and bewitch you that day, I attack your life. I attack your life. I attack your life off. Hey, in the name of Jesus. I attack your life. Be seated. Praise the Lord. How will Oh, will somebody strange know that your young boy is missing one of the testicles? Yes. You don't know, but she knows. She told you, are you aware that your child child is these people we call Mary? Mary. One, one testicle. You know as a mother you don't press that blood in your body But this woman came and showed you. She is the one. She is the one. If you find her, tell her I want the testicle of my baby immediately. Okay, listen, this thing is not shame, eh? You know in this church, all body is equal to us. We want to be clean from head, chest, top, middle, legs. Every prayer should be clean. And we talk about everywhere. So, if one seed is missing from your baby, Matisa is that you they want your child to be childless. And they came early at the time of birth to program your child. Also, God did not meant for you to have girls only. Especially her. Somebody from her home. Because she was very bright and she was so beautiful. People were praising you. Rich men were looking for you. Your aunt. Sister to your father. Programmed you. Because she was calling you. Where must channel Maringo? Where must channel Maringo? Where must channel Maringo? Dada ya ya baba yako. Alikuwa na kuitaka muti ya maringo, muti ya maringo. Sasa, aliku program. Aliku pangia. Uwe ukiwa, ukiwa, ukiwa muschana. Kwamba, utangenganiwa na watu wengi, lakini utapato na mutu fulani. Alafu, utawai kusali wa fulana. Sababu, ukisawa fulana, we utaenda mbali sana. And they block it. And, it, and, and it functioned. It was long time ago. Na ilikuwa kitango. And it has worked again. Na imefanya kazi kinyumechako. But chako. God, who myself, lakini mungu wabaya na mtu. Shall deliver us today in this house. Ata tukombwa leo ndani ya nyumbani. In the name of Jesus Christ. Atika jina la Yesu Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Atika jina la Yesu Christ. Christ. Say devil. Shetani. Whatever you program. Ine uniratibisha. At the day of my birth. Kwa siku ya kuzali wa wangu. I'm at my tender age. Kwa utana wangu. That is affecting my life now. I reprogram my life by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I reprogram my life. Jesus, visit it. This is that God is going to do something. I feel the presence of God in the house. I feel the power of deliverance in the house. I feel a new grace in the house. Someone say yes. 
Who is that? Nani huyo? Who tampered with your life? Ni nani aliharibu maisha yako? At your tender age. Katika udogo wako. Who was that? Ni nani huyo? You see nimekuambia I told you this lady huyu msichana tumesoma story yake hapa with the with the with na roya na roya uaguzi monitoring spirit na roya uchunguzi she kept following paul aliendelea kufuata paulo akisema hani watu wako wanaleta wokovu so listen skiza those people how watu who are saying ambao wanasema we flani anajua kujifaa flani gogo lake flani kama msuri flani gogo flani anafanya nini flani gogo yako uni amen If you want safari com and the CID never to discover you. Ukitaka safari com na CID wasikupate. Destroy the phone. Unaharibu simu. Destroy the SIM card. Unaharibu ile SIM card. Throw it to the river. Unatupa kwenye mto. They will never get you. Hawatawahi kukupata. But as still you carry SIM card. Lakini mradi bado unabeba hiyo SIM card. You change the phones. Hata ukibadilisha simu. And place SIM card in the new phone. Na weke ile SIM card kwa SIM card. The CID will get you. CID bado atakupata. Destroy information. Kuharibu habari. Destroy the SIM card. Ndio kuharibu hiyo SIM card. Today, Leo, any SIM card, SIM card that yose, is used by wicked to monitor you everywhere, that SIM card I destroy, SIM card I destroy it, every SIM card in my body, I destroy, I destroy, can, you, can somebody destroy, can you destroy? Destroy SIM cards. Destroy your SIM cards. In the name of Jesus. 